Okay, so now what you should see is why he said, uh, if pray that your flight be not in the winter or on the Shabbat. Jerusalem is where you should be. Because if you, if your flight is, oh, go ahead, Jose. So remember you talking about, um, about
Israel has a purpose to serve, and that purpose was to be just that to the nation. After that purpose has been served, and those that fall after the righteousness and the instructions of the Most High, they become known as the people of Elohim as well. But until that time, those are two different classifications and statuses of um, people. You got Israel and you have the nation. So they won't be on our level, right? No. Okay. So you said even then? Oh, you're talking about even then? Yeah, even then. Yeah, because all people will be known as the people of Elohim at that time. Not just one group of people. You remember, he chose Israel for a specific purpose. And once that purpose is served, Israel and the nations will be what? Or those other nations that adhere to the word of Elohim, they will be known as the people of Elohim. Because it would still be like his, his favorite, right? Yeah, yeah, it will also be his favorite. But you're going to be evil at that time. <laughs> because you will have a conglomerate of nations all under one common um, principle. And that's to observe and follow the instruction of Elohim. So if you're all, no matter what your nationality would have been, if you're all doing that, you're one people. You got some more? Uh, so uh, now after the cameras is off, you can talk. Okay. Yeah. <laughs>
except those days shall be shortened, there shall be no flesh be saved. But for the elect's sake, those days shall be shortened. Then if any man shall say unto him, Lo, there is Mashiach, or there, believe it not. For there shall rise false Mashiachs and false prophets, and shall, sh and, and shall show great signs and wonders, insomuch that if it were possible, they shall dis deceive the very elect. If it were possible, they would. They would see the very elect. Go back up to that verse before then. Uh, right, right. Then if any man shall say unto you, Lo. Then if any man shall say unto you, Lo. Here, lo. Here is Mashiach. Here is Mashiach. Or there. Or there. Believe it not. Believe it not. Why not? Why do you say that if any man should come say, Lo, here is Mashiach. Or there is Mashiach. Believe it not. So what if it really is Mashiach? So, so when he comes, we will know. How will we know? Practice, God, war, everything else. See, you're right, you're on the right path. This is why he said, if it were possible, what? The very elect will be deceived. So if we already know for real when he comes, what? Didn't it say, every eye shall see him? Yeah. Ain't nobody gonna have to call you and tell you he's the Mashiach. No, you're gonna see him. As the old folks said, the sky's going to what? Unfold and roll back like a scroll? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Every eye's going to observe him. So nobody's not going to have to tell you, um, Lo, come over here, come she ought to come over here. He's not doing anything in secret when he comes. Go ahead. Behold, I have told you before. Wherefore, if they shall say unto you, Behold, he is in the desert, go not forth. Behold, he is in the secret chambers, believe it not. For as the, uh, as the lightning cometh out of the east, and shineth even unto the west, so shall also the coming of the Son of Man be. For whereso, 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 uh, whereso old ever the, car uh, the carcass is, there will be, there, there will be, be gathered together. Immediately after the tribulation of those days shall the sun be darkened, and the moon shall not give her light, and the stars shall shall fall from the heaven. It's immediately after those days, what? The sun shall be darkened. The sun shall be darkened, and the moon shall not give her light. The moon shall not give her light, and the stars shall fall from the heaven. And the stars shall fall from the heaven. And the powers of the heaven shall be shaken. And the powers of the heaven shall be shaken. And then shall appear the sign, appear the sign of the Son of Man in heaven. And then shall all the, the tribes of the earth mourn, and they shall see the Son of Man coming in the clouds okay, then. of then heaven with power and great force. Okay, then. We'll keep reading. I'm huh? oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> you can see all of the uh, elements, not elements, uh, the firmament. You see the sun, the what? The sun, the, the sun that will shine, the moon that will give his light, the, the stars. stars. Okay, remember we went back earlier when we said about um, his um, armies? I said it takes energy, a power for any of these things to work. That's why you don't have to fear this stuff. I don't care what kind of army they build, it's not going to be effective. Not for what the Most High is going to do. Go ahead and read that last verse when you read no thing. <laughs> and then shall appear the sign, uh, the sign of the man, the sign of the Son of Man in heaven. And then shall all the tribes of the earth mourn, and they shall see the Son of Man coming in the clouds of heaven, power and great glory. So when does this take place? When are they going to see him coming in the clouds?
with Israel is in a place of safety, they've been protected. Um, so when does Hamashiach uh, come on the scene? At the beginning of that millennium, that thousand years, midway toward the end. Just use everybody. In the beginning? When does the millennium year begin? Uh huh. When does Hamashiach show, appear or show up at, on the scene? Is it at the beginning of the millennium? The beginning of the millennium. Is it the middle or the end? Yes. Yeah. 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 No, he, so he's going to show up while the nations are serving Israel. And you know, there's a lot to take place uh, at that time, during that time, and after that time. <laughs> So I'm sure you said beginning. Anybody else? Beginning. Well, I mean, well, why would y'all say beginning? Just out of curiosity. When, when the Mashiach begins to reign, before that happens, he has to put all things under his feet. I mean, this is what the Father right. is. is it? These are the instructions that is given. I mean, you can't have two kingdoms, um, or two houses standing. So when the Mashiach is actually reigning, uh, righteousness is going to reign now on, on, on the earth. And this, this, so. this, this is what I want, I, what I do for that. So, what's going on with the, if Israel is in the wilderness, and we're, we're going to get to that next week, that means all things have not been placed under the three days, right? Mm -hmm. Right? And the, we're getting to that because that's a key uh, point to be made and noted uh, during the world. So, you still have the rule and the reign of the nation. So, Israel has been what? Gathered, they entered into the wilderness. How are they in, in the wilderness in the first place? Are well, they just going to look at Americans at home voyage and uh, head out? How did they end up in the wilderness in the first place? Even when we go back to the beginning, when we read what is written. Did they just take their time and just skip it? They can run into you're going to flee into the wilderness. Well, what would you be fleeing from? <laughs> so what would you be fleeing from? Persecution. There's an army. There's a nation, there's an army that's after you. So you know at that time, going into the millennium, Mr. Hamashiach hadn't come yet. But he did tell you how he was going to um, dwell in the midst of Israel. How did he say he was going to deal with the people? How would he dwell and be with them? How did he dwell, how was he with them when we came out of Midrain? Huh? Did he not say he was going to lead us again by what? Fire by day? A cloud by day, a pillar of fire by night. He's going to do the same, the same thing. Go ahead, Mark. I thought you had to. No, it, I mean, this is real interesting. I just wanted to make sure that um, I'm just listening because um, as it was at the beginning, so shall it be in the end. Mm -hmm. The scripture also talks about the last book of Daniel, that great day that Michael was going to stand up for the people. When Israel left Egypt, Israel also had. Um, advisor or an administrator that was actually acting on behalf of Israel, which was Moshe. Then the question becomes now if Michael's going to stand up an archangel for Israel in that last day because when Israel goes into the wilderness, the adversary is still in, in power. Yeah, but it talks about the adversary now coming after the children. And so if the adversary is coming after the children, then what happens, I think it's Daniel 12 chapter when it talks about Mike was standing up for his people in those days. So um, when Israel, when we flee out of here, you know, um, we still have some time to go. Yeah, we have, that's, yeah. A, that's key. Yeah. Understanding the time yeah. and what we're dealing with. This is not like <clears throat> what people want to take in, um, like you learned in the church that we're talking about the seven years. Most people think this is a literal three and a half years of literal. No, it's not. 
it depends on you know, a time period. There's a time period that the Most High does these things in. Um, so what we see is that Hamashiach, he doesn't come in the flesh yet and dwell amongst Israel and deal with them like that. But he did say he would what? He would dwell where? Between the wings of the cherub. He will lead them by a uh, cloud by day and fill a fire by night. The same as he did when. When he brought us out of midnight, he's going to do the same thing again. Apostle um, Shaul even made reference to that. And so these are the things we have to understand. They said, uh, Scripture, he doesn't change. So even in this wilderness, this might be a weeding out process. Oh, yeah. You know it. <laughs> and that's the that's the key. Y'all often hear me say, getting out of the land is not the problem. Going to the wilderness is not the problem. It's coming out of the wilderness. Well, it's going to be the wilderness, y'all. So matter of fact, we're going to get in that next week. I ain't going to go. <laughs> because he told you, he said two thirds of my people they're going to be destroyed. And that's why we're all the same. You can look around. For every three. You see, two don't make it. How long is the world of the there? Uh, like, how long are we going to be in the To be, I could give you a literal time. Like, ask me. I'm not even going to try to uh, tap it, but I don't know. Because that's a lot to happen in here. If we say, like the church teaching, three and a half years.
and you know not everybody is going to make it. And so the key word more is there right there. They were exiled back into captivity. The only um, the hurtful thing about this time is you won't get another captivity. You won't get another captivity. You will not be exiled in captivity again. So, no. You just don't make it this time. Because if you can't follow the instructions, you're going to be put this down to the weeping and gnashing of teeth. That's where you're going to find yourself. But you don't get another captivity. He said the nation what, will not serve themselves of you again. He'll say, it's wrapping up. And that's why it's so important. Our people, especially Israel, we just have to get into the habit of just following instruction. We don't like it in our home. We don't like it on our job. We don't like it in school. We don't like, I mean, we just don't like instructions. Most people, most people feel like we're grown and you don't want anybody to tell you what to do. I don't care. And what part of your life there's always somebody telling you what to do? That's cool. When you drive out here today, you get right to the end of that street, you go to that big red sign, somebody will tell you what to do. They said, stop. <laughs> How dare you keep going? <laughs> <laughs> Let's give him a hand as you come.